Okay, we're back. Uh, this is Amin Mojara with Imagination Everywhere and the Rhea Institute. And this is part two of uh, uh, the visual web developer uh, visual, I mean, video tutorial number four, um, uh, positioning elements on the web page. And we're just working with the div uh, tag right now. The div, uh, we're, uh, we're positioning the divs. Uh, so we finished the header and the left column. So what we want to do is we want to do the uh, content area um, or the middle column let's call it the middle column so we want to go ahead and give give this an ID this next div we want to go ahead and give this an ID of let's say we call it the middle uh, column and we want to go ahead and give it a style and uh, we want to go ahead and say its position is relative um, what we want to do is we want to give it a background a background color let's give it a background color of Uh, let's say gray um, and we want to give it a width of 400 we want it to float to the left So we want to go ahead and float left. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to give it a margin left. No, 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 no. We don't want to give it any margins. That's all we want to do. So with the with this div. So let's go to uh, the right column. With the right column, uh, let's give it an ID. Uh, let's call it right column and we want to go ahead and give it a style I'm just doing this so that you can get used to the repetitiveness let's give it a background color of uh, blue okay uh, let's give it a width of let's give it a width of 200 pixels um, we got a background color of um, and what we want to do is we want to give it a position of relative also and uh, we want it to also float left oops we want it to also float to the left alright so we got one more div to deal with um, and that's the footer so let's go ahead and uh, give that an ID of footer let's give it a style tag and within the style tag let's give it a background color of green Go over here green um, and let's give it a width of 800 pixels and let's give it a position of relative and let's set its margin 
left to be equal I mean uh, this margin left to be auto and it's margin right to be auto okay um, okay Okay, so let's go ahead and save that and let's view it in the browser. What did I do wrong? <laughs> okay, I fixed the problem. Uh, I'm going to show you what we did, but here's the layout of the play of the of the page. Here are um, five divs. We have the header here. We have the header here. We have the left column. We have the container uh, or the middle column. We have the right column. And then on down on the bottom we have the footer. So um, let's explain what we did. And as you can see this is th this area, this white area is called the body. Um, so if we go back in and if we want to give some color to the body um, all we have to do is just go to the body tag um, and let's zoom in on that go to the body tag and give it a style um, we don't have to give the body an ID uh, let's go give it a style of uh, background color and let's give it a color of black so it have some color so if we go ahead and we save it and we view it in the browser again voila we have a background color of black so um, what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to explain everything that I did and why we had that um, error uh, before. I'm not going to just uh, let that go by because one of the things that you have to understand when it comes to programming and markup code and any other programming language, the more mistakes you make, the more you learn. So we're definitely going to get into uh, uh, what, mis what mistakes I did, I made, and so that uh, we'll learn from them. So, um, there is one thing that I do want you to uh, pay attention to, uh, the little details. If we zoom in, we have this, uh, in the browser, we have this area right here, that's um, this little space, and we can get rid of that. If we go back into Visual Studio, and we go to the body tag, and we go to the style, style tag, uh, the style attribute, what we can do is after the background color uh, place a semicolon there and what we can do is we can go margin top we can go margin top and we can go uh, put zero um, zero pixels um, if you want and then a margin bottom and put zero pixels so if we go ahead and we save that go back into our browser now this is important not necessarily just for this uh, thing that as you can see um, there's always going to be um, here at the bottom uh, space left at the bottom um, so uh, but as you can see at the top that space is gone so uh, we just got rid of the margins for that um, so what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to explain everything I'm going to explain all the styles and the attributes and everything else so uh, thank you for watching this video and we're going to jump right into the next one